Thanks for checking out our video. Feel free to join our free weekly newsletter called Pop Culture Annotated and also join our Discord server to talk with us and others that share your fandom in pop culture entertainment. Links in the description. So in Avengers Infinity War, we were introduced to Iron Man's new armor, which was the Mark 50 armor, which was pretty badass. And basically this armor used nanotech, which was a main reason he was able to fight competitively at least against Thanos and the Black Order members himself without the need of really backup or anything like that. And the armor used nanotech, as I mentioned before, which was giving basically the illusion of like armor materialization. Which is really cool actually and instead of from the comics it being something where it comes from his bone marrow things like that instead it came from basically an arc reactor that he basically wore like a shirt since he no longer needs it thanks to the surgery he got in iron man 3 and thanks to the armor materialization s type of features in the nanotech it allowed him to do things like weapons generation on a level unseen by previous armors and this armor was inspired by both the Bleeding Edge armor and the Model Prime armor from the comics. And that most recent armor is actually really interesting since a big feature of it was basically that it had the capabilities of becoming any of the previous armors that Tony had before. Kind of being a Swiss army knife of Iron Man armors if you will. Now with Avengers Endgame being filmed alongside of Infinity War, a lot of fans were unsure if we would even get a new armor or if instead it would just be the same armor from before, but maybe with a few tweaks, but nothing that would officially be considered a new armor. And new leaks and toys have actually revealed that no, we are getting a new armor after all, and this armor's name is the Mark 85, so we're skipping from 50 to 85. So I'm really curious what the other armors in between are like. This one features golden arms and legs, which is definitely a throwback reference to the previous Iron Man armors like the OG Iron Man armors in the comics when he first started doing red and gold. So I'm not talking about the very old one which was gray but instead or even the one that's pure gold I'm talking about the ones that if you look up the old Avengers comics the ones where he is in the red and the gold armor red and yellow armor this is a reference to those. Now it also has silver streaks in it which makes me theorize you know will Stark be using something like vibranium to augment the armor. Now the reason why I say this is because the silver does make sense for vibranium, it's usually used for vibranium, cap shield being a perfect example, and we know Tony Stark has scenes in Wakanda in Avengers Endgame from set visits because they did set visits while they were filming both movies and at first we didn't know which movie was which so a lot of people thought oh maybe this is from the Battle of Wakanda scene, you know everyone's in Wakanda. But since Stark being in Wakanda was not in Infinity War, it would make sense that instead this is from Endgame and maybe he's using Vibranium and other Wakanda technology to enhance his armor which is how we get to the Mark 85 because it's definitely going to need some crazy upgrades to really be an upgrade above the Mark 50 and this would be a logical I guess step forward if you will especially considering the potential abilities that this would give the armor considering higher durability against infinity stones and the ability to make more powerful and unbreakable weapons against someone like Thanos if fighting hand to hand in combat again. Now also having some qualities from the panther habit would be pretty cool considering the one that was in Black Panther and even shown in Infinity War had the ability to absorb and redirect kinetic energy which could be a really cool I guess ability if you would apply that to Infinity Stones energy if Dark probably jury rigs it with the intent of absorbing and redirecting Infinity Stone energy. Kind of being a basically Thanos busting armor if you will or Infinity Gauntlet busting armor if you will. That's kind of how I'm viewing it. In this movie it would make a lot of sense at least if they go that route but comment below your guys thoughts. What do you guys think about this armor? Do you think this Mark 85 armor will have those type of features or do you think the silver is just in there to be in there? Comment below and we'll see you guys later.